Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Black River Public Schools 2023 High School Honors Assembly. Seriously, it's been four years since we've had one of these. I'm really glad we're here today to be able to celebrate student achievement. And it's really good that we can be here together in person. I'd like to begin by recognizing all the families and friends in the audience today. Some of those so some of those people are going to be watching this remotely or viewing a recorded session later. No student has made their journey to be here today on their own. The students that are here with us today and those who are on, uh, those students who are here with us today and those that are unable to attend owe thanks and gratitude to all those that have made their journey possible. We are thrilled to have you as a part of our Black River community, and we value your students' achievement at Black River. Please recognize this commitment and effort with a round of applause. We should also thank all of those teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly throughout the year to help all of us and those who have worked especially hard to make teaching and learning a valuable experience for you all. Will our teachers please stand? And staff. They are at the heart of Black River, committed to our mission, and in part to prepare students for college and life. They deserve so much, but today, Let's give them another round of applause. This is my first year as Dean of Academics, and I'm in the close of, of, of this first experience, and it's been really enriching and valuable. And I have enjoyed getting to know students that I didn't have an opportunity to ever know or work with what, if they hadn't taken an art class with me. <laughs> Uh, this, this first program agenda item is the Dean's List and Honor Roll. Honor Roll students are students that have a 3.0 to 3.49 GPA. We also have the Dean's List. Those are students with a 3.5 GPA and a 4.0 GPA. Would all of those students present that are on our Honor Roll please stand up? There you go. Would all those students on the Dean's list with a GPA of 3.5 to 4.0 please stand up? Thank you. All of the names have been listed and are available on our website. Please welcome our first department award uh, for history, Mr. Keeley Morse. Our history department award winner this year is known for always having a smile on their face. The student participates in class discussions with deep thoughts and great consideration. They are known for being highly involved in the community, in social justice causes, environmental causes, and even in impacting the curriculum here at Black River in the classroom. Our winner this year makes a true difference for us all. The 2023 Black River History Department Award goes to Hannah Huggett. Next up is Mr. Meyer with the Math Department Award. Yeah. 
The goal of the mathematics department is to provide students with the opportunity to become mathematical thinkers and explorers. We emphasize mathematics as an active science of patterns involving quantity and change, shape and motion, data and statistics, and counting with algorithms. We strive to implement a curriculum that develops mathematics in context with an emphasis on mathematical modeling and applications. We believe it is our responsibility to educate all students into becoming mathematicians not by showy calculations, but with a desire to explore logical thinking, to build constructs but expand them and modify them continually to find beauty in the complex and explore the unknown. We inspire curiosity, we challenge patterns with exceptions, and revel in the sense of accomplishments that our students gain when they go beyond solving problems and into looking at beauty through mathematical thoughts and ideas. We believe it is through commitment and determination that students stretch the limits of their minds in the joy and the celebration of learning. The math department chooses to honor one individual this year who truly thinks mathematically. Their ability to use logic as a language has excelled them to be the lead programmer for the robotics team. But their ability to explain the details in a way that inspires our sixth graders to be better at math on the daily shows the depth of this student's talent with mathematical language. I last taught this individual in ninth grade as an AP Calculus student. Since then, he has pursued enough credits to obtain a mathematical minor at Hope College and is currently enrolled in AP Statistics as a senior. Black River challenged him early on with calculus, but he has continued his pursuits beyond our walls and back again. Even so, his heart is black and green, although he is most often seen wearing his favorite color in purple. In fact, I remember many calculations in calculus written entirely in a purple pen. This student continues to be an active participant in our G Block math programs and math teams, and he supports our peer to peer tutoring every Tuesday. Please help me honor Matthew Harrelson. <laughs> Next, we have Science Department Award with uh, Mr. Ewald. This year, the Science Department is pleased and proud to present two seniors with the Science Department honor. What has made these two candidates stand out, not only the rigorous study that they put into the large number of science classes they have participated in, but the beyond the classroom impact these students have embraced in their scientific endeavors. As has been reiterated quite strongly the past few years, science is not a subject that exists in isolation. Furthermore, it is arguable that in the study of science, Answers that are found in discoveries that are made actually have the least impact on those who find and make them. It's the world, people, animals, plants, atmosphere, that benefits the most from learners that have an active and open participation in the study of sciences. For these two seniors, science is more than just hitting the books. It is work they have done in taking care of our community and environment, both in a local and global sense, that makes their contributions admirable and worthy of recognition. It has been an honor and a pleasure to work with this year's recipients. De Bricler and congratulations, congratulations, this year's Science Department Award winners are Elif Erdem and Ava Conklin. Please welcome Ms. Pyle. The English Department Award this year has excelled, the winner of the English Department Award this year has excelled in each of the core disciplines of English over their tenure at Black River. They pursue excellence in both their academic and creative writing and also pursue the great writing of those who have come before us. You'll always catch this student with a stack of books in hand, written by some of the greatest writers and thinkers of the 20th century. This contagious enthusiasm for literature led this student to create a poetry club this year, and it has been wonderful to witness this group reading, writing, and sharing poetry together. 
Most importantly, however, this year's recipient of the English Department Award deeply understands that literature, at its best, helps us recognize and value the humanity in each other. Please join me in congratulating Hannah Huggett, this year's recipient of the English Department Award. Next is the Spanish Department Award with Ms. Bishop. In addition to the Spanish Award, I will also be giving uh, honoring our, uh, our Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizenship Award winner. First, Spanish. This Spanish student has always been an asset to my classes. They are a great example of what can be achieved with confidence and persistence. They have a positive attitude and work hard to learn. They have an upbeat, can-do attitude that will help them in college and other challenges they will face in their life. The Spanish Department is proud to have Anya Scott as the award winner this year. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizenship Award is given each year to a senior student. This award recognizes and rewards individuals who possess the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes, schools, and communities. These students are selected by their teachers and their peers because they demonstrate these qualities to an outstanding degree. Earlier this year, this student and other area winners were honored with a reception organized by the Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution in Holland. This year, the Black River community is pleased to present this award to R.J. Villegas. Congratulations, R.J. And now we will hear from Katie Chester, the Art Department Award went, uh, presenter. As an art teacher, I have the privilege of cultivating problem solvers and creative thinkers, working alongside students to find solutions and to communicate ideas in elegant and beautiful ways using a variety of mediums. It is an honor to teach art here and see how students' passion, ideas, and skills grow and evolve as they work through the variety of visual art courses offered here at Black River. It is always a challenge to pick just one student to give the department award to. As a department, we are looking for a student who has passion, dedication, perseverance, and focus on visual arts that goes above and beyond their peers. The student we have chosen this year has worked diligently with a focus and a pace that is exceptional. Her works are introspective and reflective, and she continues to challenge herself with new mediums and compositions. This student plans to go to school at Eastern Michigan University for art education and become a K-12 art educator. I am proud to announce that the 2023 Visual Art Award goes to Olivia Emig. Next up is Tammy Clark with the National School Orchestra Award. The National School Orchestra Award goes to a senior who is hardworking and dedicated to orchestra. Maddie Benson started the cello as a sixth grader in beginning orchestra and worked incredibly hard throughout her middle school and high school careers to get to where she is today. She has taken private lessons, was a member of the Holland Area Youth Orchestra for many years, participated in various chamber music ensembles, pit orchestras for our school musicals, and has participated in both district and state levels of solo and ensemble every year during her high school career. Maddie is not only a member of Advanced Orchestra on the cello, but now she also plays violin in concert orchestra. 
Maddie, please come forward and accept the National School Orchestra Award. And next up is Mrs. Andrews presenting the National Choral Award. The National School Choral Award is presented each year to a graduating senior who has exemplified superior musicianship and leadership throughout their time in the choir program at their school. The person receiving this award has been a member of the choir program since eighth grade, but I have had the fortune of having them as a student since first grade and have thoroughly enjoyed working with her in the general music classroom, in three years of elementary choir, and in our theater program. Throughout high school, this student has been a member of the Columbia Avenue Chamber Choir as well as Concert Choir and has provided a lot of leadership throughout the past four years. It's been quite a unique four years in choir and we have the pandemic to blame for that. Um, and unique is also a word that I would use to describe this student. It is unique to have a student that takes on the initiative of creating and ordering t-shirts for the choirs, creating and maintaining a choir Instagram page, actually wanting to do music theory assignments, and demonstrating successful knowledge of that theory and music composition in the several arrangements that she's made for the choirs to perform. She leads by example, is always prepared for rehearsals and performances, as ha and has been just a fantastic part of the choir program. Uh, congratulations to this year's recipient of the National School Choral Award, Liz Ryder. And I'd like to welcome up uh, Mr. Karsten Wimbush for the Band Awards. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is awarded to an outstanding jazz musician who demonstrates not only hard work in their individual practice and craft, but also a willingness to demonstrate leadership and collaboration within their ensembles. This individual that I have awarded this, um, this prestigious award to is somebody that you frequently will see in the band room well after school is done. They frequently will help others in sharpening their own craft lead sectionals, and just demonstrate hard work with their actions and with their musicianship. In addition to that, this is an individual who has demonstrated amazing flexibility to rise to the occasion in very short notice in some very unique circumstances over the past few years. I am pleased to award the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award for 2023 to Styron Pereira. The next awards are a spe special recognition for students' performance in our uh, AP Advanced Placement Program. And the first award criteria is granted to students who receive a score of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Those students are Celia Bearwald. Leif Bauman, <laughs> Madeline Benson, <laughs> Audrey Bortner. Ainsley Haru, <laughs> and 
Hannah Huggett. Clara Mitchell. Richard Viegas. Camille Walbrink. Carmen Ricker. Thank you. Give a big round of applause for all of these AP students. An AP scholar, scholar with honor is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. This year's AP Scholars with Honors are Ava Conklin. <laughs> Alif Erdem. Amir Erdem. <laughs> Tucker Hennigan. <laughs> Styrone Pereira. One more round of applause for all of our AP scholars with honor. An AP scholar with, a scholar with distinction is awarded to students who average a minimum of 3.5 on all of their AP exams and a score of three or more on at least five of these exams. This year's AP Scholar with Distinction is Matthew Harrelson. We also have an academic letter of recognition for students who have all A's in five consecutive semesters. This year's letters of recognition are for Daniela Adrian, <laughs> Hayden Bauman, Marilla Carpenter. <laughs> Caitlin Dankert. Aaron Summit. Congratulations on your academic letters. Next is our academic recognition for students with seven consecutive semesters of all A's. Our first awardee is Celia Bearwald. Audrey Bortner. Yeah. 
Elif Adem. Amir Adem. Ainsley Haryu. Matthew Harrelson. Tucker Hennigan. Roger Hernandez. <laughs> Hannah Huggett. <laughs> Styrone <laughs> Pereira. <laughs> Benjamin Pickard. Carmen Ricker. Camille Walbrink. One more round of applause for this academic excellence. Students compete in the National Merit Scholar Program, and the Scholar Program for National Merit is scores based on the PSAT and SAT tests. And approximately 1.5 million people in the United States enter the program each year. Of the 1.5 million people, 50,000 students receive recognition each year. National Merit Commended Scholar, in late September, more than two-thirds, about 34,000, of the 50,000 people uh, with high scores on the PSAT received letters of commendation in recognition of their outstanding academic promise. <clears throat> this year's National Merit Commended Scholars, Benjamin Pickart. Tyrone Pereira. Sure. This year, we are honored to have a National Merit finalist. In February, over 15,000 semifinalists are notified that they have an advanced, they have advanced the finalist standing. High school principals are also notified and provided with a certificate of merit to pre present to each finalist. This year, we are proud to recognize our national merit finalist, Matthew Harrelson. <laughs> Next, I'd like to welcome Ms. Becky Mousseau. She will be presenting our honorees in the National Honor Society. National Honor Society students are chosen on the basis of their fine scholarship, their um, leadership skills, character, and service. And so I don't want to take too much time, but I do want to recognize the leadership this year for National Honor Society, three of whom are graduating seniors. Our outgoing president, Roger Hernandez. Our outgoing treasurer, Leif Malman.
our outgoing secretary, Hannah Huggett. And our outgoing vice president and incoming president, Marilla Carpenter. They have led um, all of our National Honor Society students, including our graduating seniors, through blood drive, clothing drive, how many hours of service at the Boys and Girls Center, um, and so we really appreciate their leadership this year. Mr. Middleton will call the names of the National Honor Society graduating seniors. And we're going to just take a minute and honor you guys, appreciate all of your leadership um, and scholarship over these past four years. And as he calls your name, come on up. I'll give you your gold cord and then we'll just stand in a row here. Celia Bearwell. <laughs> Leif Bauman. <laughs> Elizabeth Bensinger. <laughs> Maddie Benson. <laughs> Audrey Bortner. Carolyn Chesser. <laughs> Olivia Clark. <laughs> Ava Conklin. <laughs> Elif Erdem. <laughs> Jay Wu Han. Ainsley Hardy. Matthew Harrelson. Tucker Hennigan. Roger Hernandez. Anna Huggett. Lily Laverne. <laughs> Jacob Lee. <laughs> Avery Mangum. <laughs> Clement Monet. <laughs> Styrone Pereira. Ben Pickard. Ariana Rhodes. Carmen Ricker. Elizabeth Ryder. Anya Scott. Natalie Smeltzer. <laughs> Atif Usmani. <laughs> Richard Viegas Jr. <laughs> Camille Walbring.
One more round of applause for all of our national assignments. Next, we have our all-conference awards, presented by Kyle Lawton. Hello. I will be, present pre be presenting the SAC Scholar Athlete Award. These senior athletes have earned a minimum of four varsity letters in two or more sports, all while maintaining a 3.5 GPA or above. Our Scholar Athlete Award winners are, please hold your applause until all names have been read, Ava Conklin, Brady Davidson, Roger Hernandez, Lily LeBurn, Aaron Summit, Atif Usmani, and Camille Walbrink. Come on up. Please give one more round of applause for your Scholar Athlete Award winners. I also have the privilege of presenting our 12 season River Rat Award. This award goes to our student athletes who have competed in a school sponsored MHSA sport each season, fall, winter, and spring for all four years of their high school career. These athletes have essentially been in season their entire high school career. In my opinion, this is the greatest and most challenging award a high school athlete at Black River can earn. Our 12 season River Rat Award winners are, please hold your applause, Brady Davidson, Camille Walbrink, Olivia Hayes. Come on up. One more round of applause for our 12 season award winners. The final award I'll be presenting is the SAC All Academic Award. The criteria for this award is seniors in the top 10% of their class, multi-sport athletes who show great leadership both in school and outside of school. Our SAC All Academic Award winners are Ava Conklin, Roger Hernandez, and Camille Walbrink. One more round of applause for our all academic award winners. afternoon. I get to do two things today. The first thing is present the Harvard Book Club Prize Award and then I'll get all the seniors moving a little bit. The Harvard Prize Book Program was established by Harvard alumni in 1910 as part of an effort to attract the attention of talented young students to the opportunities at the college. In the program's first years, a prize book was awarded to, at only a handful of schools in the New England area. Today, nearly 2,000 prize books sponsored by local Harvard alumni are awarded in schools all over the world. The prize book is awarded to an outstanding student in the next to graduating class who displays excellence in scholarship and high character combined with achievement in other fields. The winners of this award, through their intelligence and variety of achievement, exemplify Harvard's commitment to excellence. This year's recipient is Daniela Adrian. All right, seniors, 
Uh, this is the opportunity to move around a little bit. So if you have a lot of stuff in your hands or around your feet, you should move them because you're going to be standing up and sitting down a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it should be a good thing. You did good things. This afternoon, we celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2023. Our students' hard work has been rewarded with both exciting opportunities and financial awards. This year's senior class has been awarded many prestigious scholarships and grants, including full ride opportunities. As of today, the class of 2023 has reported that they have been awarded just over $3 million in scholarships and grants, an impressive accomplishment for the 69 graduating seniors. In recognition of their hard work, I ask that as I read the list of colleges, they rise when they hear the name of a college to which they've been accepted, and then just sit back down. We ready? All right. Albion College. Alma College. American University. Aquinas College. Baker College. Calvin University. Carthage College. Central Michigan University. Cleveland State University. College for Creative Studies. Colorado School of Mines, Davenport University, DePaul University in Chicago, DePaul University, <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Illinois University, Eastern Michigan University, Ferris State University, Full Sail University, Georgia Institute of Technology, Grand Rapids Community College, Grand Valley State University. <laughs> Greenville University. Henry Ford College. Hope College. Indiana University. Kalamazoo College. Kendall College of Art and Design. Kent State University. Kenyon College. Lake Superior State University. Loyola University, Chicago. Michigan State University. <laughs> Michigan Technological University. New York Institute of Technology. <laughs> Oakland University. Ohio State University. <laughs> <laughs> Purdue University. St. Mary's College, School of the Art Institute of Chicago, Seton Hall University, Siena Heights University, University at Albany SUNY, University of California, Irvine, <laughs> University of Colorado, Boulder, University of Detroit, Mercy, University of Illinois, Chicago, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. University of Michigan. University of Oregon. University of Portland. University of Utah. University of Wisconsin-Madison. Valparaiso University. Wake Forest University. Wayne State University. Western Michigan University and Wittenberg University. Please join me in giving the class of 2023 one more big round of applause. <laughs> Next up we have Stacy Timmerman from the Community Foundation to share about scholarships our seniors have won. On behalf of the Community Foundation of the Holland Zealand area, I thank Ms. Wright and your selection committee for your help with our scholarship selection process. It's good to be back here. Foundation scholarships are made possible through the generosity of many individuals, families, and businesses. This year we will grant nearly $1 million in scholarship awards. 
Today we recognize nine scholarship winners, and the first was just given to me. It's not actually a foundation scholarship, but I'm happy to present it. It is the ACE Telephone Association Scholarship, and there's a little blurb that they've asked me to read here. With a strong desire to support young adults and their continued education, ACE Telephone Association established its College Scholarship Fund in 2000. Each year, their scholarship committee meets to review all the applications and then, based on a joint decision, award up to 20 high school seniors a $1,000 scholarship. They have awarded $423,000 in scholarships since the program began. Asentech is proud to provide unparalleled internet to homes and schools in every area we serve. They understand just how vital reliable internet is to students as they work toward meeting their education goals. On behalf of the Board of Directors, employees, and members of Aztec, I am pleased to award this year's scholarship to Anya Scott. And now we'll recognize our eight foundation scholarship winners. Winners, when your name is read, please come forward and remain up here in a line. Michael Galicia will receive our renewable Brooks Family First Generation Scholarship, which was established to celebrate the diversity of the Holland Zealand community and assist first generation college students who have strong involvement in school and community activities and serve as role models for other young people. Clement Monet will receive two foundation scholarships. The Ian Gar Memorial Scholarship was established in 2008 to honor and celebrate Ian's life, quick wit, sense of humor, musical talent, and academic achievement. The scholarship is awarded to a student with an avid interest and proficiency in music, writing, or math. And the Mark F. Winnium Memorial Scholarship was established by the Lakeshore United Soccer Club in memory of a true ambassador of the sport. The scholarship is competitive among area schools and selection is based on participation, recommendations, and most importantly, giving back to the game. Camille Walbrink will also receive two foundation scholarships. The Carrie B. and David E. Jasper Scholarship rotates among area high schools and is given to top academic achievers with plans to earn a bachelor's degree in math, science, or engineering at a public school in Michigan. And the renewable Wayne A. Struer Family Scholarship was established as a way for Mr. Struer to give back to his hometown and honor his nieces. To be eligible, students must be academic achievers and leaders with plans to study science, technology, engineering, math, accounting, education, or healthcare. Ainsley Haryu has won a Joe Schuler Environmental Impact Scholarship and the renewable Chris Martin Memorial Art Scholarship. The Martin Award was established in memory of a young man who, despite struggling with most of his classwork, found satisfaction and pride in his ability to draw and create challenging visual images. The scholarship is based on citizenship and an interest in learning and continuously improving in the arts. Anya Scott and Olivia Clark join Ainsley as recipients of the Joe Schuler Environmental Impact Scholarship. Mr. and Mrs. Schuler established the scholarship in memory of their beloved son, Joe, 
who is a much respected and admired Black River science teacher and coach. Schuler Award winners are chosen based on their interpretation of a photograph of Joe in an essay, story, or poem with the title, Dreams of a Young Adult and Their Relationship to the Earth. Richard Viegas has won a renewable Wagner Catholic Scholarship, which was established by Thomas Wagner for area seniors who are members of one of Holland's Roman Catholic churches. To qualify, students must demonstrate high academic performance, strong leadership, and service to the community and to the church. And finally, Roger Hernandez is one of 15 students selected for our community scholarship, the highly competitive Holland Zeeland Promise Scholarship. The Promise was established in 2010, so deserving students will have all of the resources they need to achieve their post-secondary degrees. It is a renewable last dollar or full ride scholarship covering tuition, fees, room, board, books, and books. Please join me in congratulating all of our 2023 CFHC scholarship recipients. I love this assembly. <laughs> Only thing I like more than this assembly is graduation, which you get to hear me talk again at, so lucky you. I'm going to stretch this out for quite a while. No, just kidding. But I do have some awards that require a little bit of explanation, and I want to recognize these people because um, I'm pretty proud to be able to present these today. So first one for me is the Head of School Leadership Award. It is earned by a student showing not only great leadership qualities within the Black River School walls, but also in our community. This class of 2023 is actually full of leaders in a way that I have perhaps never seen before in my career. Leaders make their mark in difficult times. They lead when others may second guess them or disagree, possibly publicly, possibly in an unkind manner. They lead by example, not by bragging to others or by telling others how great or important they are. They do not boss people around. Leaders work to benefit others and they sometimes make decisions that go against the popular opinion. During the past four very difficult years, while this senior class has an, had an experience unlike any other class in our history, there was a student that was often at the front of their classmates, encouraging, helping, and leading in an incredibly positive way. While I have always known that this student was helpful and positive, I found out some, some more great things about him as I began thinking about this award and asking teachers for insights about him throughout his high school career. The student who has earned this honor, it's not given, has countless examples of leadership here at Black River. According to Ms. Shirk, such a happy young man, a natural born leader, loves people and loves life. Mr. Morse says, amazing people person, will go far in life, funny. In ninth grade, I heard him coaching up other students on life skills to succeed in life. Wow. Mr. Schrader, the best student MC that Black River Pep Rallies have ever had. Mr. Murphy. Always found, he always found ways to get teachers involved in student events, a.k.a. getting them pied in the face. More importantly, he is present in the lives of students and engages outside of the classroom. Mr. Lawton says our recipient is responsible behind, beyond his age 
and he gets things done. One last one from Mr. Meyer. The student first made his creative breakout when he came to one of my flex sessions on writing thank you notes. He immediately wrote me a comedic thank you for teaching, me how, for teaching him how to write you a thank you note. But beyond that, he began to personalize all of his notes with a heartfelt and meaningful interaction in words. I now have a thank you note from him with a specific differential equation to be solved for my calculus class. He also has handwritten personal, handwritten personal invitations for over 175 guests to his open house. His personal attention to the details and relationships has made him likable, relatable, but also given him the ability to be a voice for the student body. In the student council, as well as all of our sporting events, he rallies the spirit of our fans and amplifies the energy at all events. He comes to my room at least once per week to consult with me about future plans, life interactions, fears, joys, and his love for life. He has truly impacted me and kept my morale high amidst all of the unknown, the mundane, <laughs> choking up, and the apathy, he energizes my spirit. There's more, but I'd like to announce Roger Hernandez as the head of school. Leadership of the I choke up at graduation too, just, it's what I do, so. Um, salutatorian and valedictorian. To all of our 12th grade students, whether you received an award here today at this assembly or not, I'm glad we're taking time to celebrate all of you. The final recognitions of this annual honors assembly continue the theme of inspiring accomplishments. These last individuals are the salutatorian and valedictorian for this class of 2023. These awards are based on being the top of the class, as these students have earned the top grade point averages for this year's group of seniors while being at Black River for all four years of high school. This is a great feat at any school. It's an amazing accomplishment anywhere. But this honor is an incredible feat at Black River, which is always one of the top high schools in our state. We will begin with the 2023 Black River Salutatorian. Our Salutatorian has taken the following advanced placement courses. AP Calculus as a freshman, AP US History, AP Physics C, AP English 10, AP Seminar in 10th grade, AP Chemistry and AP English Language in 11th grade, AP English Literature and AP Statistics in the 12th grade. That's all here at Black River. He also took AP Computer Science through Michigan Virtual Academy. You have heard this student announced as an AP Scholar with distinction today, so you know that he just doesn't just take a lot of advanced placement classes, but excels in the examinations as well. He was also recognized for his National Merit Scholarship finalist achievement today. At Hope College, he took Calculus II and multivariable math one and two, and then added mathematics 280, bridge to higher mathematics, which all sound absolutely terrifying to me. These next quotes are from his teachers. Always nice, always attentive, got his work done and did it well. Another teacher said, he's so quick at learning, it, it's actually intimidating to teach him. I'm excited to announce Matthew Harrelson as our salutatorian. <laughs> The honor of valedictorian is earned by the student with the highest grade point average for, of a class, or if you rather, the number one ranked student of a graduating class. As I spoke of earlier at Black River, the student who earns the honor of valedictorian has the highest grade point average in four years at Black River. Again, top in a class that consists of students where all graduates must have four-year university and college acceptance. Also vying for this distinction are students who come here because they want academic challenge. 
They're oft, they often hope to earn college credit and aspire for scholarship opportunities for college. Students and families choose Black River for the academic challenge and opportunity, not because it's the closest option. In earning this honor, our valedictorian chose to take the following Black River Advanced Placement offerings. Advanced Placement Government, AP Physics 1 and AP English 10 AP Seminar in 10th grade. AP Biology, AP Calculus, AP English Language, AP Psychology, and AP Spanish Language, all in 11th grade. AP Biology, AP English Literature, and AP Statistics, and AP U.S. History in 12th grade. Again, success, success was not only in the grades attained in all of these courses. The status of AP Scholar with Honor, again, highlights the success earned through the examinations. The number one class ranking student was more than just a GPA juggernaut, however. We're proud of our valedictorian for so much more than that. One teacher pointed out that this student spent time helping her grandmother through difficulties, but did so well at school, even with her mind on helping her. Another teacher said that her intelligence can only be matched by her kindness. I'm honored to announce your valedictorian of the class of 2023, a scholar and an amazing person, Elif Erdem. In closing, I would simply like to say thank you. Thank you, Black River teachers and staff. I am abs in absolute awe of how you work with these young people and with each other. I hope you feel energized and honored by the achievements of your students. Without you, none of this would have happened. Thank you also to parents and family members. You chose Black River for your children. Your support always but especially in these amazing and crazy last four years has done so much for all of us. We work so hard here at school and having you there as support has kept us going through some very difficult times. Thank you. And lastly, seniors, we are all so proud of you. Personally, I appreciate you all so very much. And I'm honored to be a part of your journey, as goofy as it sometimes is we take that journey together and we joke around in the basement or my office or other different places where we run into each other. Thank you for letting me be a part of that. I look forward to celebrating with you all in person at graduation in just a very short time. Thank you so much. <laughs>